What are audio creative best practices? Hi everybody, I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at the Audio Active Group at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. In response to so many of the questions that we field on audio creative, we're excited to present to you this collection of best practices. Creative is super important. Uh, one of the most significant studies ever conducted on marketing effectiveness came from Nielsen. They looked at 500 different brand campaigns and the goal was to understand sales drivers and creative generates almost half of sales effect, way more important than media. Creative is five times more powerful than targeting at generating sales. <clears throat> Think about that five times. So creative matters. Creative is important. One of the most respected media mix modeling companies, marketing effectiveness companies is analytic partners. And they say the creative is a key driver of advertising performance and campaign effectiveness, second only to investment levels. So we consulted the experts. We looked for companies that do a tremendous amount of audio creative testing. That includes Nielsen, Veritonic, ABX, industry organizations such as the respected radio center in the UK, the radio advertising bureau in the US. You can find uh, the entire deck with all of the supporting evidence. You can download it at westwoodone.com forward slash audio creative best practices. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna focus on the audio creative best practices. We're gonna leave all the supporting studies and evidence that support each of these best practices to the deck. So we'll focus more on what matters, which are the actual recommendations. So let's start with things that you don't have to worry about. Wear out and add length. Believe it or not, these are the two topics that we get asked the most about, and they matter the least. Probably the most useful and practical book ever written on media and marketing strategy is 66 Ways to Screw It Up, Les Bennett and Sarah Carter, How Not to Plan. And they say, don't worry about uh, wear out. Um, it's rare. Uh, and campaigns are more likely to wear in than wear out. Um, spot length, we've done tons and tons of audio creative testing, and we find that uh, ad length has little to do with effectiveness. Uh, there are so many other more important things you can focus on, like how many messages are in the actual ad, brand building versus sales activation, emotional copy versus rational copy. Here's something that really has an impact. The fewer the messages, the greater the recall. Millward Brown finds that ads that just have one message have a recall index of 100. And then if you look at ads with two, three, four messages, recall collapses. So you take an ad that has four messages. Those messages have recall only at 24 to 43% of that ad that had one message. So exhibit some restraint, prune down your messages and drive greater recall. Audio is about a conversation. It's intimate. You don't have to shout. 89% of car commuters are driving alone. Most, if not all podcast listening is personal through the smartphone and the earbuds. In audio, you don't have to fight for attention. So you don't need to yell, shout, or sound too scripted. This is probably the single most used recommendation. The first five seconds matter. Say the name early and often. If you're looking for low hanging fruit, I want you to listen to all of your radio ads that you have on the air right now. I guarantee you might have some of these ads where you're breaking this rule. Now in video, it's a common practice to have a 30 second ad with mystery and intrigue and you have no idea who this ad is for and only in the last second of the ad does the brand come up. You do that in audio, that is death. 
So many studies from Nielsen and Veritonic show there's a di there's a distinct relationship between recall, brand lift, and how many times you said the brand in the ad. So say your brand early and often. A great example, Geico. What's the first word in every Geico ad? Geico. They say Geico presents. Use consistent, unified, creative messaging across different media to deliver impact. Millward Brown found that campaigns where you have different messages in social versus mobile versus digital versus TV versus radio versus campaigns that have unified messaging ac across creative deliver 57% greater equity metrics. So use consistent messaging across media. The three Fs, courtesy of John Kieran, Orlando Wood, Tom Ewing in their book, System One, Achieving Profitable Growth. The three Fs, fame, feeling, and fluency. Fame, brands should come readily to mind. You need to make people feel good about their brand and be recognizable. That's fluency. Maya Angelou said it best, people will forget what you said, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. The two godfathers of marketing effectiveness, Peter Field, Les Bennett said, relevant emotional based messages are twice as efficient at, than rational messaging and twice as profitable. The impacts are hard to measure in the short term, but over the long term, they develop incredible power in terms of salience and memorability. Emotional messaging is the compound interest of marketing. Use a fluent device like a reoccurring character or a scenario. Orlando Wood in his book Lemon, he's the chief innovation officer from System One. Fluent devices, they could be a fictitious character like geckos or the gecko from Geico or a scenario expressed as a slogan like Snickers, you're not you when you're hungry. And Orlando Wood found in his research that brands that use a fluent device generate significantly greater market share gain and significantly greater profit. Entertain for emotional gain. We've gotten pretty serious in advertising and we think it's all about persuasion and facts and figures and hard arguments. But Paul Feldwick in his book, Why Does the Peddler Sing? What Creativity Really Means in Advertising says that, that powerful advertising is as much about showmanship as it is salesmanship. Advertising builds brands best when it's entertaining, popular and memorable, when it's not just a pitch, but it's a performance. Howard Luck Gossage, who was often referred to as the Socrates of San Francisco, the advertising visionary said, the buying of time or space is not the taking out of a hunting license on someone's private preserve, but it is the renting of a stage on which we may perform. So entertain for emotional gain. Now this sounds obvious, make the ad audible and easy to understand, but creative testing company ABX has found that ads sometimes score below average on things like being clear, understood, and message delivery. So this is something you wanna make sure that your speaking voices are foreground and not overwhelmed by music and background effects, that your word count is reasonable so it's audible and clear and the announcer is not rushing. So make the ad audible and easy to understand. Use music for branding. Lauren McGuire, president at Made Music Studio, says that music creates emotion. When you create emotion, brand favorability grows, brand consideration increases, and all of that generates ROI. Les Bennett and Sarah Carter say ads that use music prominently are significantly more effective than ads that don't, enhancing effectiveness by 20 to 30%. Create a sonic logo that has melody and says the brand name. No one has done more testing around uh, audio logos and sonic brands than Veritonic. They have tested thousands and thousands of sonic logos. And their findings are have melody, 
and save the name. And you know, the most famous marketing book ever, How Brands Grow, Byron Sharp, he says the key to success is creating consistently and constantly used, easy to remember brand assets that over time create distinctive memory structures, which bring the brand front of mind when a consumer is shopping in that category. And that's what an audio logo or a sonic brand can do for you. Leverage the appeal and trust of radio personalities and podcast hosts. Nielsen neuroscience studies show that that host red ad on radio or in podcast has a tremendous halo effect on credibility and emotional motivation. Target your core audience. Women prefer a female voice. 75% of audio ads today are voiced by a man. And when you ask producers why always pick a man, you get the scientific response. We don't know. It's what we've always done. Well, Alice Sylvester uh, put a stake through the heart of that myth, and she studied a huge number of Nielsen creative tests and found that female voices uh, overperform among women, and many brands target women, so use that female voiceover. All of this really matters. Um, if you take a look at the top 25 testing uh, creative assets, you find much strength, uh, stronger lift in ad recall, regardless of how many GRPs are being utilized. So sweating your creative, making sure you're using th these best practices can really have a significant impact on campaign effect. So recapping, things not to worry about, wear out and ad length, things to worry about, audibility, being easy to understand, Use music for branding. Have a sonic logo that has melody and says the name of your brand. Leverage the appeal and trust of radio personalities and podcast hosts. If you're targeting women, use a female voiceover. Audio is about having a conversation. You don't have to fight for attention. You don't need to shout. The first five seconds really matter. Say the brand early and often and Exhibit some restraint in your copy. The fewer the messages, the greater the recall. And then across your media platforms, if you use a unified creative approach and messages, you're going to drive significantly greater brand recall, fame, fluency, and feeling. Tell a story with emotion. Use a fluent device like a reoccurring character or scenario and entertain for emotional gain. Yes, we're in salesmanship, but it's also about showmanship. So go ahead and download uh, the full deck with all of the supporting evidence, westwood1.com forward slash audio creative best practices. Each and every week, we publish a new case study or audio insight on our blog. It can be found at cumulusmedia.com or westwood1.com. You can also sign up to get an email delivered right to your email box each and every week with our case study or audio insights. Thanks so much for the opportunity to share with you our latest on audio creative best practices. Thanks so much.